Hi, my name is Alex and welcome to the Crochet Circle. Now I do hope I will have enough of white scrap yarn, if not I'm gonna have to make another wing, uh, but yeah, for the wings I'm gonna be using white cotton yarn and it's gonna be again basic stitches, uh, so let's just dive in. I'm gonna start with a magic ring, that means yarn twice around my thumb, going in with my crochet hook, grabbing the yarn and making a chain one. Now I know you are used to with me doing an increases of 6, but for the wings we're going to be doing an increases of 5. So that means we're going to have 5, 15, 5, 10, 15, 20 stitches and so on. Or, um, yeah, well, you kind of get the point what it's going to be like. So the first row calls for 5 single crochets. So that's a 1, 2, 3, 4 and I can close up the magic ring. Now the next row calls for 10 single crochets, that means in each of those 5 stitches, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I need to do an increase. An increase is just 2 single crochets in the same stitch. So that's a 1, 2. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now the next row calls for going from 10 stitches to 15. How I'm going to do that is I'm going to do an increase and a single crochet. So that's 1, 2 is an increase, 3 is a single crochet, 4, 5 is an increase, 6 is a single crochet, 7, 8 is an increase, 9 is a single crochet, 10, 11 is an increase, 12 is a single crochet. And the last three. Thirteen, fourteen, an increase and fifteen, a single crochet. Now I need to do four rows of fifteen. So I'm going to use my stitch marker after I've made the first stitch. So this is the first stitch of the row. And I'm clipping it together so I don't lose it like I lost it when I was doing the head. So yeah, uh, one is done, now another 14. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So that's one done, and another three to go. Again, marking just the first stitch and doing 15 single crochets. Now I'm not going to count them because I have a stitch marker and I just know that once I get back to the stitch marker, it's a row done. <sighs> My scrap yarn. And I, th I think I'm gonna have enough for both wings, to be honest. Now 
now that's the second one done starting with the third one And the last one. I'm still marking it because after this row I'm gonna be doing some uh, a decrease. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So those are my four rows of 15 done. Now I need to do a reduction. Uh, going from 15 to 10, how I'm going to do that is I'm going to do a single crochet and a decrease. 3 is a single crochet, 4 is a decrease. 5 is a single crochet, 6 is a decrease. 7 is a single crochet, 8 is a decrease. 9 is a single crochet and 10 is a decrease. Now I need to do 3 more rows of 10 stitches. Now it is a bit hard to, you know, grab a hold of and work with it. So what I usually do, I just flatten it and then kind of move my flattened wing around. So let's try it like this. So I flatten it, I see the next stitch and I start. One, I'm marking it. Now the next one and the next one. Now I'm flattening it and kind of pushing it into the other side. Again, flatten it and I can see the stitches much nicer. This is what I usually do when I have like a smaller amount of stitches. I just flatten the work and it goes like this. Now this is one done. I need two more rows. Flatten and work. Flatten and work around. Again, flatten and work around. And I'm going to remove the stitch marker because this is going to be my last 10 stitches so I'm just gonna count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine twenty ten twenty e
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Leaving a bit of a tail for sewing things on top and I'm just pulling the yarn through and I'm gonna get rid of the starting tail as well. Now before I finish before I finish this video tutorial I just want to finish up this wing. What I want to do is I just go from one side to the other and join the wing together and that's it now this is now part three of the video tutorial how to make a bee in this one i showed you how to make a wing of course each bee has two wings so you have to make another one and i'm gonna see you in part four of this video tutorial when i'm gonna show you how to combine everything together so we get a nice bee happy crafting <laughs>